What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? So we wanted to come in and let you guys know that we are in Orlando, Florida. Old town. Yes. And if y'all know, according to our last video, this means we are headed to London. Yep. Yep. We are headed to the UK. So we fly out of Orlando um, and it's a night flight. Eight o'clock. Yep, we leave eight at eight o'clock. PM. So we did drive our Tesla down here and we have a Tesla vlog coming up for you guys when we get back. but. Yeah, so if you guys can see, our Tesla is charging. Um, we're going to charge it up to 100%. Um, yeah, just going to charge it on up. That when we, we get, get back, because we know we'll probably lose about 6 7%. While um, the car is sitting the at the airport. Sitting, so that'll give us a couple yeah. of a good percentage. Um, so whenever we drive back next week. We could just get in the car and go so we don't have to charge. So charging to 100%, we're going to get something to eat while it's charging. Um, and we're waiting for another couple um, that's going with us. But yeah, so we just wanted to check in, make our first video of our trip. So this is video number one. I'm so excited. And as you see, we got on sweatpants. Yes. In, in the sunny state of Florida. So yeah, because we have to prepare ourselves for the weather over there which is still quite chilly. Yeah. Thankfully, it uh, went up to the 50s, but it was literally in the 20s and 30s last it was, week. It was snowing, snowing. Like two days ago. Yes. So we got to be prepared. So it's a little hot. So I'm praying that things a change. Hot. But we're yeah. prepared. For the worst And weather. I know we look crazy with sweatpants. Though. In Florida. So yeah. All right. So first video of the vlog, you guys stay tuned. And the next time you see us, probably going to be eating and then at the airport. So stay tuned, you guys. All right. So this is our first time taking British Airways and the process was really smooth. We left out of MCO, which is Orlando International Airport. Our flight was supposed to leave out at 8.05. Uh, we started boarding at 7.15, but we did arrive at the airport just under four hours early. Um, so we arrived about 4.30 p.m. Like I said, our flight time was supposed to be 8.05 um, p.m. pulling out of Orlando International Airport, but it got delayed just a few minutes, so we left around 8.25 p.m. You think that's our airplane? It's a 42A and a 242B. Oh, okay. British Airways plane over there. That's the first time I've seen one. That's the other one? Because this one's even at 6.15. Okay, and ours is 4-8. Since it was delayed a little bit, it's like 8-40, I think. Yeah. We're here. First glimpse of the British Airways airplane. Never seen one before. I'm excited. What time is it? Going home? 
still waiting. Our plane just pulled in. I think our plane just pulled in. Um, British Airways plane just pulled in. It's like a little after seven, I think. So we're still waiting. 6.51 p.m. our time. 6.51 p.m. our time. And it's almost 12 o'clock midnight over in the UK. So that's the time difference. And it's only five hours and not six hours. Remember we thought it was six hours, but it's actually five. You thought it was six hours. I did. I did. So it's almost midnight there, but it's 6.52 here. And we just saw our plane pull in. So yeah, we started boarding probably what, 7, 7 o'clock, 7.15? Something like that. Something like that. But yeah, almost, almost time. It's dark outside as you can see. Yeah, it's dark. So yeah, night flight. First night flight, overnight flight. Y'all stay tuned. It was cool, right? Yeah, facial, facial recognition. Never, never experienced that. Before. Never experienced that. That was quick and easy. Yep, they recognize your face and you just keep going. Oh, this is a big boy. It's a big boy. You know, I gotta touch it. Hello. Hello. I'm going to play. I'm Right, so we are now settled into our seats. They did provide these little pillows with like a sanitary, like in a sanitary pouch. And they did provide these blankets as well, but these are property of British Airways, so we could not take them with us. The monitors that was in the headrest were pretty responsive. I was um, pretty impressed with it. Whenever an announcement came up um, from anybody, um, it did pop up on the monitors, which was helpful. And you can hear them on your headphones as well, whatever announcements they make. Um, it was pretty slow to respond like before we took off, but once we took off, the monitors were pretty responsive, which was great. So they had music, they had games, they had movies, they had TV shows. We were really impressed by the selection and they also gave you a pair of headphones in like these sanitary pouches, um, which were pretty comfortable. We're taxiing out. As you can see, my husband is literally playing Angry Birds. So this is great for if you're traveling for, with kids or anything like that, as this flight was about eight hours plus long. So I love these little monitors and whatever they had available. And you can also literally do some shopping, some light shopping on these monitors, which was quite impressive. And one of my favorite things was this real time view of the globe or the global map while in the flight. I love tracking where we were and we are ready to pull off now. Super excited. the spoons forks and knives were all biodegradable like this wood material which got a little flimsy over time but it was okay just right for us to finish our food with so what is that like a chocolate like a chocolate pudding type
So the monitors have all these different views. You can view the plane in so many different angles. I love it. And you can actually see what's outside of your window as well. And it lets you know where you're flying over. I just love the interactive map on this plane. So this is the morning of March 11th. We're literally just waking up from the flight. We left the night of the 10th. <laughs> I got about four hours of sleep. My husband slept on and off, but that's all I had in me was about four hours of sleep. So I just watched movies and, you know, play games the rest of the time. But they did feed us breakfast, which was nice. All right, good morning. Biscuit sandwich with egg and cheese. This is our breakfast this morning. What we got? Breakfast. It is. What time is it? Uh, it is 3:32. 32 our time. The breakfast sandwich was actually pretty good, pretty good. And they just gave us a little bit of orange juice afterwards. Um, this is my first time having an in-flight meal, breakfast, dinner, and I must say, I was impressed. I definitely give it a solid eight and a half, nine out of 10. That is amazing. All right, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. So we um, made it to our Airbnb. But we're just kind of looking around until we get the code to go inside the Airbnb. But now we're at the Abbey Wood Station, just checking out the train, the Elizabeth yeah. Line train. It's about seven minutes from our Airbnb. Yeah, it's like a seven minute walk. So that's what we're doing, just checking out the new Elizabeth Line tra train station. So you guys stay tuned. All right. So while checking out the Elizabeth line in Abbeywood station, we came across a convenience store that we were able to buy our oyster transportation cards, which is valid for use on the buses. Um, like I said, the train station, the Elizabeth line, and I was just going around checking out all the snacks that this convenience store had, just kind of comparing it to the US and they had some pretty cool snacks and drinks in here. But yeah, that's how we bought our oyster card. They were not available to buy in the kiosk though. so be aware of that but here is a quick 
um, look at our Airbnb. Um, it did have quite a few bedrooms and quite a few bathrooms because we were traveling with a few other people, but it was actually quite comfortable. Um, however, we did end up moving to a hotel um, after this day because the Airbnb unfortunately did not work out. But I did want to put a few clips of the bedrooms and bathrooms in here so you guys can kind of get the feel of how these little townhouses um, look around London. bathrooms were quite small um, you can definitely get around in them but the shower was quite small the toilet was quite small but it was good enough it was um, nicely updated the water was hot which was great um, and it did have a like heating rack but I found it so funny how everything was really tiny and small compared to the US um, <laughs> everything in the US was so big but this faucet was like maybe half the size of my hand and the toilet was as well very small but this um heating towel heated towel rack was actually pretty cool um after taking a shower so this actually wraps up this video. These were a few snacks we had this night. No official dinner, we just had pizza, but that was it. We were so eager to wake up the next morning. So definitely stay tuned for day two and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.